Recently, I went to a temple with my manager in Lopburi. It is a Buddhist temple that takes care of AIDS patients. We brought small donations. When I say small, I mean nothing special. It was snacks for 60 patients. They took me to the terminally ill ward. As I approached the third patient lying in his bed, he was frail, thin. I don't think he's moved in a very long time. He can't pick up a spoon when he's hungry, go to the bathroom when he needs it, or even take a walk on a nice sunny day, things that we take for granted daily. When I was walking up to him, I felt a sense of fear. I've never had that kind of fear. And as my hand touched his hand, I said in Thai, I'm sorry for disturbing your rest time. And he looked back at me with so much generosity and said, no, your smile has made my day. I held back my tears because I thought everything that I looked and reflected in my life that I thought was so important all comes down to nothing. In, in a split second, he changed my life. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I think that from that moment onwards, my goal and purpose in life should be different. We shouldn't not only just chase success, chase money. That's what I, that's what I do, but I think life, there's so much more to it. I think giving back to the community is something that we should all do. And it doesn't have to be about money. It doesn't have to be something big. It could be something small, even doing something nice to your neighbor. I'm not here to tell you I'm perfect. I'm not a saint. Trust me, if you've seen the Thai tabloids, you'd know. <laughs> um, I have done so many things in my life I'm not proud of, and my parents are either. But I'm human. And the thing about being human is that you have the ability to learn, grow, and reflect from your mistakes. Being human means that every day you have the choice to be compassionate, to be kind to yourself and everyone else around you. So I will tell you that from today onwards, someone is going to do something to you that will hurt you, that will disappoint you. Someone will embarrass you. It's happened to me a million times. But don't let that harden you. Let it soften you. Let it open your heart up and change you for the better so that you can be the change that you wish to see in the world. And I'd like to say that I don't know where you all end up in life, but I hope that you find your voice and you make your voice powerful. You make it strong, but at the same time, you make it kind, you make it gentle. You have a voice with the intention to listen and let your voice change the world.